So the part that uh, we infused in the workshop is the extension to this warehouse and the other parts that uh, I tested on uh, you can see in the other video the sort of triangular pieces I've cut there for the brackets so we've just offered up the, uh, the extension temporary screwed on and uh, as you can see we've got these bands here just holding it up at the right height to support it and then I've just fitted um, and uh, filleted on the brackets with a bonding paste that's all just uh, curing now and when that's cured sufficiently uh, we're going to take the whole lot down again and then just finish tabbing or glassing over those joins there um, where the brackets are and then the whole thing will get uh, flocated in grey um, as you can see I've left the um, peel ply on from uh, when we infused the whole piece uh, keeps it all clean and tidy and of course there's uh, no prep to do when I come to flow coat later I just pull it off you've got a clean fresh surface then and we can flow coat straight on there so there's no grinding or sanding or anything like that so um, yeah quite pleased really because the, my pattern obviously worked well uh, it matches the shape of the top perfectly um, and uh, yeah the brackets are, seem to be working out fine so that whole lot then will get bonded and screwed onto the back of the wheelhouse and fixed uh, permanently positioned like so So we've got the extension piece off again. These are the brackets that we've uh, bonded and glassed on. There we are, all ready to go. It's all gone off, nice and tidy. So all we need to do now is just flow coat this whole inside piece so it'll match the grey of the rest of the boat. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, as we're doing it on the boat in a nice cold wintry morning uh, obviously got the dust sheet down to protect the deck from any dribbles and drips but also the remainder we'll be able to um, just uh, drape over um, and we get some heaters and some blowers in there just to try and uh, get the heat up a bit to get the whole lot to cure done all the prep ready for the rest of the boat here that's all sanded and prepped so it'll just be a case of putting the white bonding paste on there, offering up, screwing on, basically job done then. So let's see how we get on now with flow coating this. Got my little workstation set up there ready, brushing the roller, let's get going. mistakes Right. 
How's it looking? the jack so one thing about foam core uh, composites is that if you're doing any through bolting you need to support the uh, compression strength of the bolt because you can uh, crush and pinch the skins of the core and uh, it becomes unsightly and things like that and also there's no strength in the bolt then so I've got to put this stainless bracket on here and they're 10 mil bolts so I've offered it up and uh, drilled the, the three 10 mil haven't gone all the way through I've just gone through the top skin and stopped at the bottom skin I then got a 25 mil bit opened it up taken the core out and then I've then filled that with a filler so the plan now is is to put that back in there like so I'll drill those 10 mil bolts off now. There'll be 10 mil hole there, and of course I've now got a plug of solid hard filler that the bolt can uh, compress against. And so that's nice and uh, wedged and clamped in there then. So I haven't got any sort of uh, concave uh, distortion uh, in the skins. Um, and also uh, with the mastic and things like that, I've got a nice waterproof joint there, rather than just a raggedy old foam joint as well. So that's just a quick one on foam core and uh, to make the solid hole so there we go bonded on screwed on all the ooze cleaned up and a nice bead of black mastic around the joint make it all nice and neat and tidy see the edges there with the joint to the boat so yep looks like it was done in the factory hopefully Nice and lightweight being foam core, resin infused. Plenty of bearing surface for those brackets. And a nice strong, it could almost hang off that. So there we go. Another job completed.